Howdy. So, I don't normally do vlog videos, but I finally got around fitting my Bazuri Baby Shark air horns from Cuda Automotive using Truck Tim 10. Whether Tim sees this or not is another story, but here we go. So, I finally got around fitting them. I've had them for about a week or two, running off of an air tank in the back of my transporter. Um, so, let's start off at how I've mounted them. So, they're held in by four screws underneath the step in my transporter. And as you can see, they are under there. Now, I do need to fit the plastic back under it, but I need a bit of cut and mold, because obviously that's right by the wheel arch, they're gonna get caked. Now, the struggle I had was wiring, and wiring them wasn't easy. That is my child. So I'm going to do a quick video of how to wire them to a momentary push button switch. I unfortunately ended the video. So I got this momentary push button switch on Amazon, cost me a couple of quid, and it's two wires that come out of it. Now I can't remember which wire is which, um, that's really warm, but you've got a positive there, that's for the LED and a negative there, that's for an LED. I can't be asked to wire that up right now, so I'm gonna do away with them for a minute. But you've literally just gotta wire in an earth and the horn button. And that's that's the back of the switch. Now, with the Bizuri air horns, you get this lovely big unit. And it comes fit with a wiring diagram. Perfect. However, I'm not fitting it to a steering wheel switch. It's on there. So you've got your activator switch there, which you need to wire up to the momentary push button. You've got your live. Don't hook it up to anything other than your fuse box. It does not need to go to a button or anything. It is just a permanent live. And that is in my fuse box off of a piggyback switch and then we've got the negative here so the negative was the one that caught me because this runs as a negative system this big wire here is going to a ground on the van and i've got that underneath the dash where that blue wire is perfect and it all runs underneath my steering wheel column here then I've got this green wire here. I've just used any wire I can find at this point. I do need to fix that heat shrink, but I will do that directly. This one here, this green wire goes up to the back of the switch. That is rules of how easy it is to wire this up. Now, hello. if it wasn't for a local bloke who runs a removal company in Cornwall, I would not have figured this out on my own. I've tried trawling YouTube for an English video. The closest I got was French, and I don't understand any French at all. So this video is for those that want to use the Missouri Baby Shark air horns. They're loud. Being where I live, in a block of flats, I don't think the LB would appreciate me blasting my horns. However, these are the version 3. You get a nice digital display. I'm going to mount it either on the dashboard bit here or I'm going to mount it over this side so it's like within reach kind of thing. And yeah, that's just as simple as it. A live ignition live. Um, that's all I've got here. Um, so you've got your, your live, your negative and your horn button. Horn button, a negative to the button and then a negative also from this negative to a ground on the van or the vehicle you're fitting them to easy peasy lemon squeezy remember you need an airline as well and that's that's the short and curlies of it um, if you want more of an in-depth video I'll try and get one done for you but right now I need to tear my van apart and route these wires because I've not done that and everything's all heat shrunk together say hi 
Mm. Have a good day. And I genuinely do hope this is a helpful video.